Good afternoon. Welcome to the Saturday Drill Class for August 1st uh, for Ottawa Sorplay. I'm Craig, of course. Uh, I did want to mention before we get started that this is the weekend that we normally would have our Points North tournament, and uh, we're, of course, disappointed that we weren't able to have it this year, but uh, hopefully we'll come back even better next year. Uh, so I hope everybody's enjoying their long weekend. Today we're going to be working a lot with winding techniques. Uh, I'm going to be using, uh, well, creep dispenser, but long sword. Uh, but all of this definitely one for one transfers to single sword. And I might talk a little bit about uh, some of the single sword and uh, some of the numbering and stuff like that. We are, of course, going to start with some of our foundation actions and motions. Uh, to practice and we're going to start with our foot rotations today. So I want you to stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, weight on the balls of your feet and I'm going to rotate all the way over to the left and then we're going to rotate to the right and back to the left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, uh, so uh, windings often involve making the transition from thumb grip to, or from regular grip to thumb grip, uh, and I guess back to regular grip. So we're going to do our thumb grip flips. Uh, so starting with the right hand, I'm holding my weapon pinched between my first finger and my thumb, just one hand on the weapon, and I'm going to use the heel of my hand to drive the pommel down and flip up so my cross guard is perpendicular to my wrist, and then drop back down. And we want to keep this all in the hand. I don't want to move the rest of my arm, if at all possible. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we're going to do the same thing in the left hand, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, we're not going to be really doing very much with our windshield wiper cuts, but we're still going to use our windshield wiper uh, thing for practice. So I'm going to tuck my elbow into my side. In the thumb grip, cross guard is perpendicular to my wrist, and I'm starting with my left hand. I'm going to rotate down to the outside, back up, down to the inside, and up. One, two, and just like with the thumb grip flip, we want to keep this as small as possible. I'm really just using my wrist, not the rest of my arm. So, seven, eight. Nine, I think, and ten. All right, and we are going to move to the right hand now, and even though we're not doing half sorting, we're going to continue doing the thing I've done a couple of times now. When I rotate the blade down to the outside, I'm going to put my left hand on the pommel, and when I come back to the inside, I'm going to grab the blade in a half sorting group. All right, so one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now uh, we're going to work on our steps, and you can either put your side of this sort of side while we're doing this, or just hold your sword in some sort of a neutral way. And we're going to start with our passing steps, and I want to focus on the fact, uh, on the sequencing of this. So my front foot right now is my left foot, and it is pointed almost straight forward. My right foot is pointed out diagonally to the side, and my heels are more or less in line. And what I'm going to do the passing step, if I'm moving my weapon, I would move my weapon first, but then I'm going to rotate on the balls of my feet to switch the angle of my feet, and then I can pass forward, and I can also do the same thing passing back, but I'm putting my feet in the position I want to finish in before I do my pass. So 
For this, I'm going to start over here, and we're going to do passing steps forward across the room. If you run out of space at home, just turn around and keep moving forward. So rotate, step, 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 rotate, step. All right. Now, we are going to incorporate the backward steps as well. In our system, we move forward a lot more than we move back. So we're just going to do the two forward, one back version. And again, I'm going to start left foot forward. I'm going to rotate on the balls of my feet. Pass forward, rotate, forward, rotate, back. And just like before, if you run out of space, just make yourself space by turning around. Rotate forward, rotate forward, rotate back. 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 Rotate forward, rotate forward, rotate back, rotate, forward, rotate, forward, rotate, back, rotate, forward, rotate, forward, rotate, back. I think that's enough of that. Now, the other footwork that we're going to look at is our same side footwork, um, so our gather steps. But I want to work on both our regular gathers and our triangular gathers in uh, alternating between the two so that we end up traveling more or less in a straight line. So if I'm starting right foot forward this time, I'm going to start with a gather step, bringing my left foot forward and then my right, and those are little quarter circle steps. But then to come back to my line with my back foot, I'm going to step across behind myself and as before, I'm not passing my front foot's heel and then coming back to here. And so I'm gathering, triangle gathering. All right. And again, I'll start over here and we'll do that across the room. And I'm starting right foot forward. So gather, triangle gather. Gather, triangle gather. Gather, triangle gather. Gather, triangle gather. Gather, triangle gather, gather, triangle gather, and gather. Now, we can do this on either side. We're just keeping our lead foot the same. I had my right foot forward the whole time. So going back, I'm going to do the same thing with my left foot forward. So from here, I can gather with my right foot leading, left foot uh, coming back to the front, and then bringing my right foot behind, and left foot. So, gather, triangle gather. 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 Oh, I don't know, almost went off screen. Uh, so, uh, I do have a tendency to look over towards the camera there, but of course my direction of travel is the direction that I'm facing with my uh, sword and uh, combat intention. Now, uh, those steps cover most of what we do. There is some nuance to them, but that's uh, what we're gonna do for the moment. So we're gonna actually start looking at our techniques and we're just gonna start with the Oberhauer on how. So starting in the tower guard at the shoulder. So I'm left foot forward because I'm right-handed. I'm going to start with the sword extension, do the foot rotation, and pass. And this week, we're just going to go straight into doing all three steps in sequence, and we'll do ten of those. All right? So from the tower, extend, rotate, step. And reset. Extend, rotate, step. Reset. Extend, rotate, step. Reset. Extend, rotate, step. Reset, extend, rotate, step, halfway there, reset, extend, rotate, 
step, reset, extend, rotate, step, three more, extend, rotate, step, reset, two more, extend, rotate, step, and last one, extend, rotate, step. All right, now, from now on, we're mostly gonna be working with windings, and there are eight windings that can be done three ways each, which gets us 24, but we're only gonna be looking at a subset because they really all work kind of the same way. Uh, and today we're gonna actually start with the seventh winding. Um, so for the seventh winding, if my sword is over here and thread is coming on in on this side of it, whether it's against my blade or not, I want to bring my sword across to my right. Now there's a funny thing, right now I'm not in the thumb grip. As I come across, I don't need to change to the thumb grip, but I can if I feel that's gonna be better circumstantially. Usually when I go to my crossed hand side winding low, particularly, um, I just stay in the grip that I'm already in, but it, it really does depend upon the pressure I encounter and stuff. So from here, I'm gonna bring my sword across and then I'm gonna rotate on the balls of my feet and I'm gonna pass forward. And that's gonna be our seventh winding, all right? So we're gonna start with uh, five of those just by themselves. So sword across, rotate on the balls of the feet, step forward and reset, sword across, rotate, step, Reset, sort across, rotate, step, and sort across, rotate, step, and one more, sort across, rotate, step. Now, from here, uh, well, sorry, I'm going to go back. This actually often follows from our sword hack. So we're going to now add those two things together. So when I do this, I'm extending, rotating on the balls of my feet, and stepping, and maybe I meant to intercept their sword on this side, but with a change through or something, they've come back onto this side. So now I bring the sword across, rotate on the balls of the feet, and step in. So it's like I wanted to do a change through, but they just went and did it for me, uh, is what we're looking at. So again, we'll do five of those. So from the tower, extend, rotate, step, Y7, rotate, step, and reset. Extend, rotate, step, Y7, rotate, step. Reset, extend, rotate, step, Y7, rotate, step. And that's three. Extend, rotate, step, Y, rotate, step. And reset, extend, rotate, step, Y, rotate, step. All right, now, from there, of course, if the person changes through again or does something else that brings them back to the other side, we may want to wind back to our left, which would be our fifth winding. Uh, and it works exactly the same way. I bring this sword across, rotate on the balls of my feet, and step. And again, I may be in the thumb grip, or I might not. I can switch back and forth. It's kind of circumstantial. Uh, today, I am going to actually uh, stay in the handshake group. All right? And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start here, right foot forward, and I've got, uh, I've, I've got my sword as though I had just done my over Howard's one half, and I'm gonna do my seventh winding, rotate, step, and then I'm gonna wind back, rotate, step. And we're just gonna do that across the room. So, wind, rotate, step, wind, rotate, step, wind, rotate, step, wind, rotate, step, wind, rotate, step. Now, uh, as always, if you run out of room, just turn around and make room for yourself. Uh, we're going to incorporate our two steps forward, one steps back mechanism to this because we can do these windings with forward steps or backward steps. So this time, I'm starting left foot forward and 
I'm in the Beauregard, hands crossed, and I'm going to wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, forward, and then wind, rotate, back. And we're going to do that across the room. So wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, back. Wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, back. Wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, back. Wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, back. Wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, forward, wind, rotate, back. All right. So that's sort of our basic five and seven winding. And I'm just going to take a moment and talk about the winding numbering system. Uh, in our historical manuscripts, they tell us that after I've done a strike, if I wind up to my left side into ox, that that is the first winding, and then if somebody pushes against my sword and I wind across with their push to the other side, that's the second winding. And then they tell us that the third and fourth winding are the same thing on the other side, so this will be the th third winding pushing here, and if they push back, the outside winding on this side becomes the fourth winding. And then, the other four are the same thing, but in the board art. <laughs> and our early sources with the long sword favor the high windings. Um, the Kushner with the Grossmesser tends to favor the low windings. And there's mechanical reasons why that makes sense for those two weapons, but I also personally just prefer the low windings as a starting place for everything that we do. Uh, and the high windings are useful as a follow-up. So it could be that the Kushner just knew better and changed the things up that way. Uh, so yeah, I usually start with the fifth winding as a starting place and then move to our other windings. Now, we're gonna do the fifth winding as a same side action. So here, I'm in my board guard in a handshake grip. And if I want to do a fifth winding, I'm gonna rotate into the thumb grip and then I'm going to gather with that. And I normally want to gather sort of as the turn is starting. I'm starting my left foot, but we're going to break things down into the sequence as we always do for these classes. So from the board, rotate into the thumb grip and gather. And reset, handshake grip into the thumb grip, gather. We'll do three more of this into the thumb grip, gather, and reset to the handshake grip, into the thumb grip, gather, and one more, thumb grip, gather. All right, so that is our normal uh, winding with the gather, and that adds pressure to our winding. It gives us strength. We're using the strength of our whole body for that which we wish to do strongly. Well, if we don't want to do it strongly, we're going to let the pressure drop, and we're going to do that with a triangular gather. So this time, I'm going to rotate, and I'm going to bring my back foot behind me, and then pass forward. So this would be if we don't feel they can overcome their pressure, we're realigning the space of the fight. So from our handshake grip, I'm going to rotate into the thumb grip, triangular gather. That's one. Reset, thumb grip, triangular gather, reset to the handshake grip, thumb grip, triangular gather, that's three, we'll do two more, and thumb grip, triangular gather, and reset, thumb grip, triangular gather, now that's five. All right, so uh, this is a good starting place. I like to alternate those the, that footwork quite a lot, but often we have to do more than one winding before we get to where we're going. So the first thing that we're gonna do is look at another winding in isolation, and then we're gonna add it to what we've done. So we're now gonna look at the first winding, and here, if I'm in my handshake grip, I'm gonna wind into the thumb grip, and then come all the way up the box with my cross guard parallel to the floor. 
And again, I want to do this with a gather if I'm adding power and choking up on their blade as I do it. So from the bore, we're going to do five of this. So I'm going to rotate into the thumb grip, up into ox, and gather. And that's what. And reset, thumb grip, ox, gather. For two. And reset, thumb grip, ox, and gather. And reset, thumb grip, ox, and gather. And one more, thumb grip, ox, and gather. I do want to point out when I do these windings, I'm keeping my point uh, mostly forward the whole time. When I do uh, forward type technique, I bring my point back and cut in with it. But with the winding, I'm really trying to keep that point online with my opponent. All right, now again, we're going to put these things together and we're going to create a bit of a scenario. So, Let's assume that we're at the bind and we want to do our low winding. And one of the reasons I start with the low winding is it covers me more. When I bring my sword up here, I'm more open. So I want to start under cover. But the person is pushing hard, so I'm going to do a triangular gather. Now, having done that, they are doing an outside winding and trying to come around and stab me so I need to take control of their point by winding high. But this has also dropped their pressure off of my blade, so now I want to choke up on their attack and come in with a regular gather. So, starting from the bore guard, we're going to do wind into the thumb grip, triangular gather, up into ox, and gather. And we'll do five of that sequence as well. Alright? So, from the bore, thumb grip, triangular gather, Ox, gather, and reset. Thumb grip, triangular gather, ox, and gather. And reset. Thumb grip, triangular gather, ox, and gather. That's three. Thumb grip, triangular gather, ox, and gather. One more. Thumb grip, triangular gather, ox, and get. All right, now we're going to string that together with our sworn how as well. Although truthfully, I usually do this if I've done an over how, been offset by a sworn how. I use the fifth winding to deal with their sworn how, and then the uh, first winding to deal with their inside winding. So, <clears throat> starting from the tower, we're going to do sword forward. Rotate, step, thumb grip, triangular gather, ox, gather. All right, and we'll do five of that. So, from the tower, extend, rotate, step, thumb grip, triangular gather, ox, and gather. And reset. Extend, rotate, step, thumb grip, triangular gather, ox, gather. That's two. Extend, rotate, step, thumb grip, triangular gather, ox, gather. And that's three. Extend, rotate, step, thumb grip, triangular gather, ox, gather. One more. Extend, rotate, step, thumb grip, triangular gather, ox, gather. All right, good. Now, we've done low windings on both sides, and we've done low and, wide, low and high windings on uh, my left side. So we're gonna do a high winding on my right. And this technique often comes up as the Alten Schnitt, the high slice. And the context of that is that uh, I have put pressure on their blade so they're coming through on this side with the pommel or something similar. And I'm going to rotate onto their wrists. And this one I definitely want to go into the thumb grip, rotate my feet and pass forward. So we're trying to pick up their wrists and put pressure on there. So we're going to 
do that in isolation. Uh, so starting from the Beauregard, and I'm just in the handshake grip right now. I can do it from the thumb grip, but I actually want to come into aux in the thumb grip in one go for this uh, drill. Rotate on the balls of the feet and pass forward. And reset, and we'll do five. So from the handshake grip into right aux, rotate the feet forward. That's one. From the handshake grip, right aux, rotate forward. And reset. Right aux, or <laughs> left or handshake grip, into right aux, rotate the feet, pass forward. That's three. From the board, right aux thumb grip, rotate on the balls of the feet, pass forward. That's four. Last one, rotate into right aux, on the balls of the feet, and forward. Now, if they're coming in at us fast and hard, we may be better off doing this with a pass back. So that's what we're going to do next, and we'll do five with the pass back. I want to remind you again, when I'm here, my point is forward, I rotate into the thumb grip into aux, and my point stays forward as much as possible that whole time. I want to push their wrists out of my fighting space. I rotate on the balls of the feet, and back, and let them run up to my sword. So, board guard, aux thumb grip, rotate, back. That's one. Board guard, right aux thumb grip, rotate feet, and back. Reset, right aux thumb grip, rotate feet, back. That's three, and from the board guard, right aux, rotate, back, and one more from the board guard, aux, rotate, back. Now the truth is, most of the time when I do this technique, I don't either go forward or back, I kind of do both. Uh, and I want to finish in the same final position, but I want to use the appropriate uh, pressure to do this. So from here, I'm going to rotate up into aux, and I'm going to step forward to make sure that I've got that contact, but now I'm a little off balance, so I'm going to bring this foot back, all right? And if you have a marker like I do, uh, you can use that to place your feet. Of course, eventually you just want to be able to do it right without looking at your feet. So from the board guard into aux, half step forward, half step back. Reset. So into aux, rotate, half forward, half back. And reset. And into aux, rotate, half forward, half back. That's three, two more. So from more aux, rotate, forward, back. And one more from board, into aux, rotate, and half step forward, half step back. Good. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do is we're going to put that together with our strike. Uh, in a way that is at least fairly logical. So I'm going to start from the sh shoulder, extend, rotate, step, rotate into aux, half forward, half back. And that's where we're going to go. So five of these, extend, rotate, step, aux, rotate, half forward, half back. And then reset, extend, rotate, step, aux, Rotate, half, half. And reset. Extend, rotate, step. Aux, rotate, half forward, half back. And reset. That's three. Extend, rotate, step. Aux, rotate, half, half. That's four. Yes, one more. Extend, rotate, step. Aux, rotate, half. All right, that's everything I had for today. Uh, I'm gonna end that here. It's quite long at the sword call today. I hope that that was fun for everybody. And of course, I can answer questions afterwards, either for those of you online, in our Discord, or if you're watching this on YouTube, put a comment and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you.